In this video, I will be explaining how you can plot graphs in Mene. So to do that, we first start by writing these three lines. So basically, these three lines are just to create our scene. After that, we define our variables inside our scene and create some animations. So let's define our axis. This is the axis that we will create our plot. So we will use the axis function. So now if I render the scene, the menem will prompt us that there is nothing to render because we just created our variable and didn't really put it on our scene. Now to put this variable inside our scene, we need to write self.play. The play means that we will play an animation and after that we will use the create animation to um, draw axis in our screen. So as I run this scene, we see the creation of our axis. And as you can see now, the video is only one second and we see the creation of our axis and the video restarts. So to make our video longer, we need to write self.wait and 5. So it will wait for 5 seconds. Now if I re-render this scene, we see the, our graph is created and then minimum waits for 5 seconds. So if I want to add some numbers on our number plane or uh, on our axis, what I need to write is axis.add coordinates. And minimum will add numbers on our axis. Also we can change the time spent while creating this object using runtime. And now as you can see our axis is just created in a longer time, in 5 seconds actually. So now let's move on to our second example and see how we can put our graph actually inside this axis. If I render our second scene, as you can see now I have defined our graph using the axis.plot function. This explains that we will create a plot inside our axis which we have defined previously and we will use the lambda x and our function to define our graph. So in this case we are plotting the x square graph and I have set the color to yellow but this is totally optional. And so now we see our graph on our screen. But what if I want to um, manipulate our plot? For example, if I want to change the Y range from 0 to 8 with displacements of 1, I need to change our axis and re-render the scene. As you can see, now our graph starts from Y equals to 0 and ends at Y equals to 8. In the same way, we can change our X range for example, let's say um, from 0 to 8 again, or 0 to, 0 to 8 again, with displacements of um, 0 0.5. But this time maybe I want to change X length. You can look at the code and try to understand how Menem does this. Now as you can see, the graph is manipulated according to our range and X length. Also, you can manipulate the X and Y range of your plot. So as you can see, the plot is created from minus 2 to 2. Let's make it 0 and re-render the scene. So this is basically how you can manipulate your graph and plot using range and length functions. So if you want to add this plot to your report, you can do that by not writing play but writing add. In this case we won't need an animation effect named as write so we don't need this part and using this we can also we need to change the axis. If we delete these parts and just say add this thing to our scene it will create a PNG file so that so the Menem have exported this scene and played zero animations because we have created a PNG file. You can go to Media, Images, 
and this is our second example so we go to second example and as we open this file we will see our png so you can use this in your report or in your studies so let's move on to our third example in this example we will see how we can create an area under a curve to do that i have again created our axis put it into our scene created our graph and after that i used axis.getArea to create our area and i wanted this area to be between minus 3 to 3 so i have used the x range function and changed its color to red and opacity to 0 0.5 in our final example, I wanted to show how you can use labels and value trackers in your plot. So, as you can see, I have added x square and x labels to our axis, and I used the axis dot get x axis label and the y axis label functions to create labels. So, basically, I have created our axis. Then I have added coordinates to it and then I have created our X label and Y label and after that I have created my graph. As we created all of these objects I have put the graph X label and Y label at the same time with a runtime of 3. If we move on to our next part we can see how value trackers are used. As you can see, I have created two value trackers to create our second line. So basically, we need two points to create a second line. And the x value represents our first point to create our second line. And the x value represents the distance between our second line, second point to our first point. As you can see in the graph, the x value is 2 and the dx is 0.5 so at our second value is created at 2.5 so after defining our value trackers we want to create our second line as we want the second line to be updated according to our value trackers we use the always red row function inside this always red row function we use the get second slope group function which is embedded in Python and basically works to create second lines. So in this specific example, our object is our second line and we want to draw it inside our axis that we have created previously. To define our second line, we need to define some variables and as you can see these five lines are just optional and defines the color and shape of our second line. And for these two variables, we have already defined our value trackers and we just need to write, for example, x.getValue and dx.getValue to get the values from the value trackers. After we change the values of the value trackers, they will be updated and update our second line. And I have defined our graph as graph that we have created, which is x square graph in our specific example. As you can see, these four lines defines the red parts that you see on the screen right now. After creating our second line, I have created our dot using the always red row and lambda functions again. To do that, I have used this simple notation. Firstly, I want to create a dot. In this dot function, we need to write a point so I, write, I need to write a point inside these brackets and I want my point to be inside the axis that I have created and I want to create a coordinate to point and this point is like x and y coordinates so basically what this coordinate to point function does is converge the x and y coordinates that I have entered inside to a point so this is what I have done. I just got the x value from our value tracker and to get the y value, I go to the graph, which is our x square graph. 
and go to the underlying function inside that which is x square basically and input the x value that we have created so this function gives me the y value of the coordinate after that we move on to creating this objects into our scene and animating them we start by creating as our second line then we wait for one second then i want to change the dx value from uh, its first value to 0.0041 to make our second line to seem like a tangent line and this change will occur in three seconds after this change we are creating our dot and again waiting for one second and after that i have set our x value to minus 3 and this animation will happen in 5 seconds you can look at the animation and try to understand how this code works so basically this is the end of the video and thank you so much for watching